what are the skills required by a legal professional to achieve excellence so ma'am enumerate some skills and how you can improve those skills so one is ease of expression and i think that's very important because sometimes one is not trained in english or educated in english as its first language sometimes you don't have the confidence of expression uh sometimes you don't have the command over the language i think one of the things which anybody should do is to read the newspaper loudly if you read it loudly and if you read it quietly your expression will grow or read books read general books of uh english in the english language so that your expression improves in cross examination i think i one for one think about my case i should be the master of the facts of the case mm. i should be able to think of the case mm. i should know what question to ask and what not to ask one of the most lethal things is people asking questions which are not to be asked and which prove the other side's case so i think this is something which is very important one has to be very careful of what you ask as a cross examiner and you should know your facts well cross examiner also has to be very quick on the uptake normally have one other colleague with you if you can cross examinations are very difficult art and uh, you may be an aggressive cross examiner and intimidate the witness you may be a soft examiner who may beguile the witness you may take him into confidence and make him make admissions you may make the witness angry and make him say things which he didn't intend to say which are illogical so uh, there are various arts which go into cross examination not it's not everybody's baby mm. and uh, there are now fewer and fewer good cross examining lawyers because people have just lost the art people are not reading their evidence act well people are not knowing how to conduct a cross examination as far as uh, the court is concerned i think one has to be just very respectful to the court you have to realize it's an institution it's not the man who is sitting on the chair it's the chair that you respect and if you realize that um, that is the chair that you are respecting then the profession can go on and on well so um and how do you enhance that everyone is not born with good cross examination skills so how do a young lawyer who is entering can upgrade his skills so it's very difficult you have either to use your own intellect hmm. or you should be with a lawyer who is a good cross examiner who then you sit with him study why he is asking those questions you become an expert on that file and while he does the cross examination if you follow that person that's the best way um what else is uh, required of a good lawyer um research skills of course research skills but today is day of with so many search engines i think it's easy it's easier but you should know what you are researching for example out of that proposition you can take out 10 issues there is an issue of estoppel there is an issue of say holding over in a transfer property act case there is issue of legal notice validity of notice etc so unless you gen 
do general studying of law, you won't know what are the issues that arise. Research is after you know what is the issue that you are researching. So I for one, I mean one of the things that I would do as a young lawyer is I would subscribe to all the SCCs, the DRJs, the DLTs and now people do it online most of the time and you have engines like live law and whatever. No, you have live law which keeps giving you updates but just read law. I would sit at night while others would be reading other stuff. Mm. My general reading has gone with really poor, though most good lawyers do a lot of general reading. If you like this video, please like karo aur apne ke share it with your friends and share it with your friends. And subscribe to this channel for such important legal updates. Karo. Thank you and see you again.